Okay, hang on. So say if someone in your family was bashed and died, what then? I would be devastated, yes. But I wouldn't want more blood spilt. Yeah, well, they all say that until it happens to them. It was it was nice to come on board having having known Indy. Um, yeah, that was good. Yeah, it's it, you sort of feel out of place. I mean, everyone feels out of place, so you all feel. It's it funny starting a new show. It is sort of the new kid at school kind of a yeah a feeling. But I, and I know that everyone always sort of says that that everyone was really nice. But we we actually really did luck out. Probably out of all of us, Todd got the most stuff yeah. to start up. Out it felt with. like I was. I got the call like a couple of weeks before, and the producers were like, "Just so you know, we're going to be throwing you in the deep end to start." With. <laughs> Make sure the cops have got no reason to come after you. They already interviewed me, they got nothing. <laughs> Cocky bastard. We had to establish the fact that my grandfather was basically my father figure. If I looked up to someone, it was my grandfather and his morals and attitudes, etc. So, first week of shooting, um, he dies. So he passed away and we have two scenes to establish our, our relationship. And then the next scene, I'm, at, I'm at giving his eulogy at his, at his funeral. So. Mm. That was fairly full on. Um, also because it was ep three, we shot it out of order. So mm. ep one and two, I hadn't established what Ben was gonna be. And then ep three and four, I had to have a complete breakdown. And you know. Yeah, you had to destroy him before you could build him. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> what it really was. Normally you build, normally yeah, you build yeah. and then destroy them. But I had to, <laughs> work out where I was going to build him to so I could destroy him so there was going to be an arc. We weren't really told much about where the storyline was going so mm. we sort of just got it as it was coming as well which made it a bit difficult but kind of good I think. Yeah, yeah. We were just as clueless as the characters were. True. Tatum. Photocopied in triplicate. Yeah, yeah, Tracy and Tatum don't get each other at all. <laughs> Everyone else will sort of tiptoe around uh, Tracy because they realise that um, they have to. She's got a little bit of a, a chip on her shoulder and, and needs to have a lot of control. But Tatum's very, uh, what you see is what you get. And she doesn't understand the idea of um, trying to, to tiptoe around someone. She, she just says what she thinks and um, expects that that will be fine. So that's why the clash is kind of there. It's also a, a very big uh, generational thing. <laughs> Which is really fun. Yeah, it's almost like the audience will hopefully be able to find someone that they'll just latch onto and go, "That's me. That's an Ellen and me," you know. And they'll just mm. and they'll kind of carry them through the series because there's no there's no lead in the show, you know. There's sort of that, as you said, the the core five, and and we all go on our different paths and we respond to given situations so differently to each other and then look differently to each other, you know. So yeah. I think the audience will be able to latch onto their to their favorite and just just follow their journey, you know. Um, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do?